What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Taking a Risk with George Ward. Yesterday was yucky, and I was hoping today would be sunny. I swear I checked the weather app. What the heck? Is oh my goodness. I think I had my weather app set to Hawaii again. It said it was going to be 80 and sunny. This has got to be some type of joke. It is the middle of April. What is going on? You know, me and this white stuff, we've had a beef for a very long time. I haven't liked snow since I was a little kid, but you know what? For you guys today, I'm going to get out there and I'm going to bury the hatchet if it hasn't already been buried by 12 inches of snow. All right, so off the rip, I can tell you this is a terrible idea. I don't know what I'm doing out here, but you know what? For you all, I have to do this. I have to. I can't stand I don't have hate in my heart, and I always say I hate the snow. That's not true. I very much dislike it. I don't like being in it, but this is absolutely gorgeous. How can I not like this? This is another beautiful uh, creation of nature, you know? How can you not like it? So, I do want to say a special thank you to everybody that decided to tell me what could be wrong with Robert. I haven't checked on him in a few days, and uh, yeah, he's feeling the effects uh, this uh, this crazy crazy weather but look at that how can you not love that so the thing about me is I love looking at snow I do not like being in it we are a people of the desert so I definitely much so prefer to be warm but you know coming out in the snow is a different story I'm gonna head down to the creek, I've got to. I've got to see what this creek is. We found some gold the other day that was absolutely incredible. What were the odds? It literally took us, I was freezing, but I was determined because we kept getting that, that hit. So I had to see what was going on. So let's see, as long as I don't fall down here. Look at these stairs, this is dangerous, but I've got my Walmart work boots on. And if I got my Walmart work boots on, I gotta be 100% safe. Walmart, I hope you trust your brand because you're all over the internets right now with me and my boots <laughs> but look at that that is absolutely gorgeous I can't stand missing out on something so beautiful because of something like being cold I can get warm no problem I produce a lot of heat I'm all bundled up this is the worst part right here these stairs are so slanted Jeremy almost took a tumble when we were filming yesterday Oh, but look at that. Untouched snow. It is a beauty to me. I do love it. The untouched snow. Now it has been touched. Sorry I touched you. But you loved it. And I did too. This stump right here, uh, George actually wanted us to grab it. We're going to put it in this area. This is the area that we're going to clear out, as I was talking about in the other video. And Jeremy was talking about one of his videos. And we're going to make a nice, cool campsite. So that'll be exciting. So the thing about snow is... I don't like to drive in it. I'm a great driver. I don't have a problem driving in the snow, but it seems to be that everybody else does. And that's the thing is that you can't, you know, if you're driving defensively and people are driving idiotically, let's just say it, uh, it's hard to uh, be safe in those conditions. So when stuff like this happens, people forget how to drive. They don't know what they're doing. Uh, they drive recklessly and they put everybody else's life in danger. I'm not sitting on a pedestal here. I'm not on a soapbox. I'm just saying it how it is. That's exactly how it is. So. I try to avoid driving in the snow like uh, weird people avoid putting pineapple on pizza, which is absolutely delicious if you've never tried it. Go ahead in the comments section below. I don't know what made me think of that, but go ahead <laughs> in the comments section below. Let me know what your take is on pineapple on pizza. I absolutely love it. I'm a pineapple on pizza fanatic. I've, 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 I've loved it ever since I was a little kid. And, oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, look at this. This is, it breaks my heart, but it's gorgeous. Look at these beautiful green buds. Come on, focus. The beautiful green buds that were coming through and are now covered in snow. And I don't know, I'm, I don't have too much experience with snow coming on during springtime. I'm not sure if all of this is gonna die and have to restart over, which isn't a big deal. I think Jeremy actually mentioned that to me the other day is that if it does snow, they just die and come right back. Just like they normally would when it all thaws and it gets a little bit warmer. The snow, let me see. I hate doing this. I hate, should I, should I even do it? 
I probably shouldn't. Let's do it towards the end of this walkabout because I do want to be out here a little bit longer. This is gorgeous. I am lucky enough that I, well, I'm bundled up first of all, but I do have a huge heat factory right here in my chest because my heart pumps, pumps with love. <laughs> so uh, I'm able to stay warm a little bit, but as soon as my hands get cold, you guys know, I've said it multiple times, I'm done. I want to get in this water. Uh, I probably should have jumped in over there because if I try to jump in over anywhere over here, that's a nice slant. Probably go flying, just slip and slide, and that would end this ride immediately. Probably should go back and jump in where I jumped in before, so let's go do that. Let's backtrack a little bit. We're not going to talk about any more pineapple on pizza, but I do want to say thank you, if I didn't already, to everybody that responded about Robert, which I'm pretty sure I did. But I'll thank you again. It was wonderful. I will have the uh, dealership check out the valve stem, check out the rim, all of your wonderful suggestions. All right, let's, uh, sure, I think this is actually probably the best place to get in. My ears are getting cold, so I'll probably end up putting this hood on, which I didn't want to. Didn't want to put on my hood. I liked being out here hoodless. All right, we got a cross right here. Come on, waterproof boots that are supposed to be non-slip. Oh, that's too much. I can already tell that's too much. Woo! Oh, no, I can feel it. I've got two pairs of socks on and I can feel it. All right, this is legit winter. I think this is winter like three or 4.0. We've had too many uh, resurgences of snow and winter and just this white stuff coming back without warning and without uh, permission or an invite. I don't know who's out there saying, oh, I wish it would keep snowing. If it's you, stop it. Seriously, I've had enough. I need my spring, I need my warmth, I need my summertime after my springtime. Oh man, conundrum. Do we go through the water or do we go over it and potentially get stuck over there in this area? Ah, uh, gotta go through it, gotta go through it, can't go around it. So we were just digging all along, all the holes I was making, they're all over the place. They've all been probably covered up by now, and I mean the water comes in and washes them clean anyway, so absolutely crazy. Uh oh, slipping and sliding. I need your help. All right, that was great. Easy peasy. I'm starting to freezy. All right, I don't know. So this is the overlook, as you can see. I think you guys can see up in the area over there somewhere. I'm trying to find it myself. Somewhere in that area. Oh man, my hands are so cold. Oh man, my hands are so cold. But somewhere in this area, there's a blue sign that says the Georgia's Overlook and it's dedicated to me, of course. I mentioned that before. Oh man, I am like <laughs> making a terrible mistake of going like in the middle of this, but it's beautiful because it's super flowing. And I don't think, I'll have to go back and watch my video from the other day because I don't think it was even flowing this much the other day, which is great for me. Because look at this. Would you just look at it? But yes, as I was saying, my hands are frozen. Or at least my one hand is frozen. Oh, I am I am stuck. I'm trying to make it from here to there, which is not that far. It's only about a foot and a half. But this is kind of slick. And that's obviously slick covered. There's this in my way, which I don't know why I'm worried about rubbing up against it. And I shouldn't be. Uh, I should just push it out of the way. But I'm worried it's going to push me back even harder than I push because I'm gentle. I try to be gentle. That one is making me nervous because it's rounded and slick covered. So I don't really know. I might be stuck here. Jeremy! Jeremy! Get the crane! Oh man, there's something in my nose. Oh. Icicles. So that's what I'm gonna look like in 40 years. Maybe, you never know. I could be one of those lucky few folk that just keep their hair the same color for their, in their entire life. I've seen you guys. And ladies. All right, into the water we go. Woo, we made it. Not bad at all. All right, let's see if I can get to my little gorgeous overlook. 
underlooked, I guess, technically. And, uh, you know, you guys can come with me. Why not? I was going to shut it off to try and focus more. I don't need to focus. This is taking a risk, not taking a focus. And, and right now we're taking a walk, so. Oh, you know what? We're going in the water. Trudging through the water. That's what we do. All right. I love it. I love... I can say with a... Uh, you know, no lie in my voice that I absolutely love what I'm in right now. As I've said before, I do not like the snow, do not like being in it, but this snow in this area at this time of year, it's something different for me. I don't know what it is. I'm still very cold, saw my hand froze, but this is just majestic. And don't worry, there'll be no video game music, <laughs> as you guys have said, and I'm sure you've noticed already. Not in this video. Uh, I thought it sounded good. But of course it doesn't need it because that sound of nature is more or less the music I want to hear anyways. So I'm not 100% sure, but somewhere right in that area right there is an orange marker and I think that's their property line. Me and Jeremy weren't really paying attention yesterday and I forgot to ask him. We were kind of just more or less trudging through, listening for dings. Clean dings, dirty dings. Looking for things in the dings. Oh yeah, look at this. That's a great idea, George. George, put your foot right there. Moving that whole other rock. Woo! I think I'm a little fella. I'm not really a little fella. I weigh about 165 pounds, but I'm graceful. I think that's the way to put it. I'm very light on my feet. I was telling Jeremy the other day, I'm a very easily moved object. I flow, I'm like the water, you know, I flow, but I, I rarely ever lose my balance. So if you see me fall down, it means I really messed up. Like right now, oh, look at that, that's deep. That's deep, that's deep, that's deep. That's the only place that's not really deep, but that's a lunge for sure. And there's another branch that might push me over. Like I said, I, I'm easily moved. <sighs> Let's go back. I see a better path. You know, being out here does help me forget all the stuff I'm going through in life. I am still dealing with the identity theft. It has not been resolved. A lot of the stuff has not been resolved. I still don't have money in my bank account, in my new bank account. They have not returned the money that was stolen from me, and it's still very weird that they have. And it's been, I, I filed for that uh, fraud on the 1st, and it is now, I think, the 18th or 19th, and I still have not heard from them. And people have suggested that I go in and actually talk to them again because I should have had insurance that should have uh, covered the money that was lost. So just something I got to think of, which is why I like doing these walkabouts. It really does clear your mind. It helps you focus on what you need to do. Ooh, I see a better path of what I want to do. So I do thank all of you for thinking about me and praying for me on that on those issues it's such a scary thing to have to deal with and it's it's kind of hard to scare me and that that did definitely rattle me a little bit all right we're here i think we made it and my socks are definitely wet thank goodness i've got two of them on can't really feel it but my hands are definitely feeling it all right so that was actually in here is where i like to call the george area that's the uh george's gorge as I now just dubbed it. And look how much more flow there is. I did a hyperlapse of this the other day. And wow, it was not this heavy. This is beautiful. Absolutely spectacular. Let's uh, keep going. We got a little bit more room. I meant to actually bring Jeremy here yesterday. And I just cannot believe that there's this much snow. We were not expecting this. Yesterday was a shock with how much snow was coming down. Cause we didn't just have snow. We had snow, we had hail and rain all at the same time. It was the craziest thing to see these big old flakes fluttering around and then little balls of hail just bouncing off the ground and then rain on top of that. And of course it was all freezing. Uh, we stayed inside as much as we could, but oh my goodness. Folks, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this camera is capturing just how beautiful 
the scenery is right now. Everything, it is a winter wonderland right now in spring, in the middle of April. Absolutely magnificent. Let's see if I can keep my mouth shut for an entire minute and let you guys just soak all this in. So there you have it, just a different perspective from the other day of when I was out here and it was all green and all beautiful and all sunny and now it's out here covered in snow, cold. I don't know what's gonna happen. I love that the water's not icing over yet, it's not frozen. That was almost bad. But I'm gonna head up this little ridge right here and we're gonna come around the back of the house and we're gonna check out everything that I checked out the other day. All right, so this is my path back up, and that's the overlook. So I don't, I once again, I don't know if George and Jeremy even know about this. They watched my video, but I don't know if they were really paying attention. You know, because they're busy, they're handling YouTube stuff. So they're watching it, and George will laugh at the jokes that I make, and Jeremy will laugh as well at the uh, more funny ones. <laughs> but this is this is what I was saying. I was telling them the other day. I think water will come through here. And there we go, there's confirmation, 100% confirmation. I was pretty sure the other day, but this is so adorable. Look at these little waterfalls. Jeremy has so many waterfalls on this property. And there's that hole. I was half expecting to see something huddled up in there, maybe hissing at me. Go away. That's what I kind of wanted to hear. Or maybe a, come on in. <laughs> oh, that would be even worse. I probably would. Oh no, I'm gonna have to use my hands. Oh God, this is the worst thing in the world. Oh no, oh, actually it wasn't so bad. Just stick my hands back between my cheeks and I'll be all right. Blowing on them, folks. Between my cheeks. I don't know what you guys were thinking. George and I have a very different uh, uh, play. Oh, that's actually easier to go over there. So I'm gonna backtrack just a slight bit, going through the woods. This is so beautiful. I cannot believe how much snow there is. I cannot believe it. Like, is it really? I believe that the world is warming up, but I also think it's a natural process. I think the world, of course the humans have done some stuff to it, but global warming, I think, uh, it's a natural process that the earth goes through on its own. It's not something that we can accelerate or really damage the ozone layer, that was real. We definitely damaged the ozone layer. Wow, look at that, that is gorgeous. Absolutely magnificent and gorgeous. I'm awestruck. And like even being inside the house, from what I can see from the windows, it was not this magnificent. This is more magnificent, being in the middle of it, experiencing it firsthand, and I'm kind of getting lost. The house is that way, so I gotta go back that way. But I'm like in the woods now, and I'm pretty sure this is Jeremy's property. Pretty sure, I haven't crossed those orange markers yet. I don't see any orange markers in front of me. If a helicopter comes and 
snatches me up. Just know that I love you all, and I hopefully will be back. I'll try to talk my way out of it. It'll make for one exciting video if I ever get to release it. This is cool. This is almost like a little path right here. I don't know. Uh, a lot of fallen trees I've noticed. Which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Hey, what's that? Oh, the daffodils. Which, funny enough, thank you all for letting me know that those were daffodils. I literally remembered during editing that these were daffodils. I finally got a good look on screen. Because what happens is, sometimes when we're filming, we're not really looking at what we're filming. We're just kind of, we're making sure the camera's focused on it. But our focus is more or less on the camera itself being focused on it. So not necessarily what we're filming. So once I got a good look, I'm out of breath, I don't know why, because it's cold maybe? But look at all the cute little daffodils. Oh, they're daffodons right now. I'm very sad. But you guys will be back. I know you will. Never cease to amaze. Nature never ceases to amaze. Oh, that's a beautiful tree right there, even though it's dead. The reason I say it's beautiful is because I'm sure this will lead to many a woodpecker coming in and having themselves a nice little knock in a tree, which that's one thing I can't get over around here is that I do not hear any birds. It's very, um, they're far and few in between. They are here, but they're just very quiet. Of course, I'm sure they're huddled up somewhere warm, trying to stay warm right now. But it just, it blows my mind that even on a sunny day, I do not get a good, you know, um, amount of birdage. I guess that's the best way to say it. I'd like to see more birds. I'd like to see, I'd like to hear more woodpeckers. Jeremy said he saw a giant woodpecker, a perforated woodpecker or something like that. Fair with a P, I'm sure. And since I'm over here, I definitely got to check on the chicks. I got to make sure these hot chicks are still staying hot. I heard creatures. Creatures. Oh, it looks like somebody just pulled up. Jeremy's having a bunch of people over today, which I guess this is the best day to have them since we're probably not going to be spending too much more time outside. My hands are cold. That one's red. I definitely heard creatures. And this one's blue. Oh, can't show my fingers. This one's blue. All right, I hear chicks. I hear them beep, 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 beep. So let's check on them. All right, so I got it unlocked, but what I'm gonna do is just crack the door open enough for me to slide in. And it's gonna get dark. Don't get scared. I'm here with you, folks. And there's the light. And there you guys are. Little chickens. Yeah, you guys are definitely needing to stay warm today. My little boo-boos. Can I share some of this heat with you guys? My hands are frozen. You guys don't mind. Hello, chickens. Hey, where'd you guys' food go? Uh-oh. Well, Jeremy must have taken it out, and he'll probably come up here today to feed you guys and probably clean out your crate or cage or box, I guess, technically. You guys are all huddled up next to me. The heat's over there. Why are you guys under me? You guys are so cute. I cannot wait to see you guys just roaming around. We're going to make a lot of videos together, just so you know. Me and a bunch of hot chicks, for sure. Definitely going to be making a lot of outside playful videos together. So get ready for that. Oh, I am the chicken whisper. Oh, I'm probably scaring you. Well, let's have a conversation in peep. So, all right, let's do. Um, I hope I'm not bothering you guys. You guys are some really cute chicks. Figured I don't have very much skill in flirting, so uh, let's see. Try one of these. Nope, I didn't do it for you. No? You guys like my peeps better? Alright, I'm gonna stop bugging you. I'm gonna let you ladies get your sun baths in. They didn't like the words ladies, huh? Oh, sorry. Love ya. Alright, so supposedly the electrician came in the other day and he uh, added some heaters to this she shed. And I could sneak in there and warm up. 
But of course, I'm going to track in some snow. <sighs> Those right there. Oh, wow, the camera actually picks it up really well. It's kind of dark in here, but the camera's doing a really well job. Those are heaters. Those are lights. Those are heaters. And I could look at all this stuff to go through. I'm sure George wouldn't be happy. But I still want to go through it. I'm actually going to sneak out of here. I do want to check on that window, though, because there was a bunch of ladybugs. I'm sure it'll be okay. She'll see this later and be like, What were you doing in my shed shed? No, that's not George at all. Oh, man, I can't close this door behind me. They are now. They'll never know I'm in here. Even if they're out and about, which I doubt. Ha! <laughs> out and about, no. Um, George is definitely staying warm. Jeremy's probably keeping her warm. And not a single ladybug. Oh, I'm saddened. But look at that view out this window. Absolutely magnificent. It just won't stop coming down. But there was ladybugs by the hundreds all over this window. The first time I ever came here. Second time I came here, there. Oh, there's one. There's one, I think. Can I get it? There it is, right there. Oh, there's a bunch of other ones, but they're not alive. Um, yeah, they were just all over the place. And then as time went on, I'm pretty sure they got out. These windows do open. And this, I believe, yeah, I'm not incorrect. I'm pretty sure this was the stable where they kept their horse. Which is what I assumed I would be keeping my horse in. But George uh, claimed it. And then Jeremy and I were talking yesterday and actually converting this into something that belongs to him. Because once the uh, electrician is done and once Jeremy's done making all the upgrades that he wants to make to it, this thing is going to be awesome. So I was telling him, why would you want this to be a she shit? You want all these cool features in a she shed? No, this needs to be a boy barn. And uh, me and him should have a game room up here and all kinds of other fun stuff. A montage to catch up somewhere or a collage, a montage collage to catch up and just all bunch of cool stuff. I think I just found the light switch to those heaters. So I don't know if I want to flick this light switch on or not. I did nothing. Absolutely nothing. Unless those are silent heaters that don't really turn on. I don't know. I don't really, uh, electrician, he was kind of slow. He, um, uh, really took his time. Those are the lights. Now, now I've been alerted. The outside has been alerted to my presence in here. It has to be the heat. Oh, maybe this one. Nope. Those are more lights. Just giving my position away. This has to be the heater. We're kind of convinced he really didn't know what he was doing. He was recommended by the previous owner, but just his speed on things was a little... I'm pretty sure this is his bag and stuff. He's going to be here in a minute. Leaves his tools at the side. I don't think that's what you're supposed to do as a working person. You're supposed to take your stuff with you. I'm just going to flip that switch back off and get out of here. He's supposed to be here anytime soon. He's probably standing outside like, oh, you're talking bad about me. Huh? No, I'm not really talking bad. I'm just talking my opinion. He's a great electrician. Don't get me wrong. It's just his um, method is very different than what I would say a person should do. It's been like four or five days. I've been here almost a week, I feel. And uh, he's still not done with a lot of the projects he was supposed to be done with. You tell me. <sighs> so much, so much. Just absolutely gorgeous. But it is, it's like nine in the morning. Like this is all going on before nine in the morning. I don't even think it's that that early it still might be closer to eight and i do need to get breakfast so with that enjoy this hyperlapse if i have one for you if not thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it don't forget to subscribe give this beautiful video a thumbs up if you did not enjoy this you know even if you hate hate the snow or very much so dislike it i took you out and you didn't have to get cold you might feel cold because you have that sympathy factor but i'm out here not you but we're here together in spirit, so go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite uh, part of this trip was. I'm going to go warm up and get some breakfast cereals or something. I hope you had a great time, because I did. And I'll see you in the next one. Also, I probably should mention, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, which I'm pretty sure I did mention. But don't forget to also go back and check out some of my older videos. There are a lot more uh, excitement in those videos, as well as, you know, peaceful stuff like this. This is taking a risk, and I do just about everything and anything under the sun. And the snow now, apparently. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad I did this. I got my, uh, my winter boots, I guess. I don't know what to call them. My cold hands. 
I heard creatures and there's a camera in the corner recording me as I'm recording myself. That's really weird. I don't like that. I'm going to go now. Before I say goodbye, I was just notified my hoodie is filled with snow. Look at that. I'm a snowman. I was planning on taking a shower today, but I'm pretty sure Mother Nature has me covered in good to go right cold kills bacteria kill cold kills germs so this is something i actually wanted to show i don't know if george and jeremy ever showed you but there's a toilet look at this view oh that's what you pay for folks you can't beat that absolutely wonderful